everyone and welcome back to Clara Sews Vintage. Today we're going to be doing my Black Friday shopping haul. So I asked on my Instagram if people would be interested if I did a Black Friday haul of all the things that I picked up over Black Friday sales and it was unanimous that yes people would like to see that. So that is what we're doing today. This video is going to go out a little bit late, um, later than I hoped it would because I was waiting for the UPS man to drop off my mood fabrics order which happened this afternoon and I am now getting around to filming um, the haul right now but I had to wait, wanted to wait for that package um, to come. I did also order some laces and different um, kind of notion things like that from So Vintagely but I have not gotten that package yet and with the mail system the way things are right now with the holidays and um, everything that's going on. I'm the pandemic and everything, I'm not sure uh, when I will be getting that package. So I will probably feature that on my Instagram stories once I get that package in. So keep an eye on my Instagram stories if you're interested in seeing what I picked up from So Vintagely. Um, so to start off this haul, if things look a little bit different, my first and definitely by far biggest purchase on Black Friday was what I am using to film this video now. I finally broke down and purchased a Canon G7X Mark II. Um, this has been on my wish list for a very long time and kind of since I started doing YouTube and got into making videos. Um, but they are not a cheap camera. But with Black Friday sales I was able to get a pretty decent deal on one and so I finally bit the bullet and picked one up and I'm really really excited about it. I am definitely feeling like a kid in a candy store with the autofocus. Um, really really exciting. Um, I have been just using a DSLR to record my videos on and while I love it and it's a great camera, it does not autofocus and um, that can definitely be a challenge to work around sometimes. So the autofocus I am very excited about um, probably one of the big reasons that I wanted to pick up a G7X Mark II um, as well as like the image stabilization and you know it has some great qualities but so if things look different and things are a little bit weird I'm still trying to you know figure it out and get to know it um, so it'll definitely be a learning process but something I am very excited about. So. Enough rambling, my first purchase, G7X Mark II, which technically you won't, you're seeing the uh, fruits of, you're seeing the results of, um, since I can't exactly film the camera I'm filming on, so, uh, but G7X Mark II that you're watching from, and yeah, let's jump in and get to really the thing that everybody's here to see, what fabric did I buy over Black Friday. All right, so first, I'm trying to decide how it would make it the most sense to kind of divide this up. So let's start with mood fabrics, then we'll talk about heart fabrics, and then we'll talk about both of my Fabric Mart fabric orders together. Um, I placed two Fabric Mart orders like a week apart. I had placed an order like the week before Thanksgiving and I decided to just add that into this haul. Um, it seemed to make sense because it was around, around Black Friday time and I got some really good sales and everything for that. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, lump those two orders together. Uh, so first from Mood, I picked up um, some thread. Pretty boring, but necessary. Um, I also, whenever you order from Mood, you get to pick out some free uh, swatches. So I have my little pile of swatches that I picked out here. Um, not super exciting, so we'll just kind of gloss over those. I also got this. Now, I know I go on and on about how much I hate synthetic fabrics, and I really do. 
um, especially polyester and fabrics like that are microplastics and they are very bad for the environment um, and just in general they're a pain to work with as well so I usually really try to um, stick to natural fibers but I would really really like to make a 1940s style coat to go with my Christmas outfit for this year and it's going to be a pretty quick project because I'm running out of time. Um, so, and it's my first coat that I'm actually making. I had started a 50s style coat um, last year, I believe, and I never really got too far into the process because I was kind of intimidated by it. So this, I got some fleece from Joann's and I picked up this polyester lining from Mood. So it's going to be an all synthetic uh, project, which definitely isn't my preference, but it's also really affordable and a lot more affordable than using like a rayon, um, like a Bemberg lining or something, or a silk would be even more expensive for the lining, um, and like a wool suiting or something. So for my first coat project, I'm going to be using fleece for the outer part and this, uh, polyester lining for the slippery part so I can actually like put it on and it won't grab onto my clothes so first order of business icky plasticky polyester lining but it has its purpose so um and it's like a lovely it is a lovely color at least it's called forest green and it really is lovely um so at least it has that going for it Let's see I also, for a different project that I will be making out of a lovely wool blend, um, I got just one yard of this Bemberg lining. Um, this is the Alpine Green Bemberg lining, and it really is lovely. It's not quite picking up the right green on camera. Um, I don't think the camera likes the sheen of it very much, but it's very similar to the other green color. I feel like the camera was picking up the other green a little bit better. This is much nicer. I love Bemberg lining. If I can love a lining, I still don't love working with lining just because it's so slinky and slippery. Um, but Bemberg is much, much nicer to work with than a polyester. So, I got this for my wool blend project which shall be revealed at a later date my christmas project i'm planning to do a separate reveal video for that so stay tuned for that um so you can kind of you'll in this video you'll kind of um see a sneak peek of the materials that i will be using so this will be for one of the pieces for my christmas project and then the next fabric that I'm going to show you is for uh, part of my Christmas project as well. And then you'll have to wait until the end to see the bulk of the fabric for it. And then next week I will be sharing kind of the details and the pattern and style and everything. So stay tuned for that reveal video and you get to see a little sneak peek of um, some of the materials I'll be using for my project in today's video. So this is a lovely, it's like a whiny kind of Bordeaux color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is a new wool blend suiting from um, Mood Fabrics. It's their wine stretch wool suiting. It does not have a ton of stretch. Um, here I'll kind of show you. So along the length of the fabric, it, it does not have any stretch and it has just very slight uh give i would say i don't know maybe 20 percent stretch on um the weft of the fabric and so it's not i almost wouldn't consider it stretch like it doesn't have a lot of stretch it's definitely not it's definitely a woven fabric um which is you know wool suiting is going to be woven um but yeah so this is really pretty and it matches really well. I'm really happy with how this ended up looking. Um, it's always a little bit of a gamble when you're buying things online, but I'm really, really happy with this. Um, it was also not cheap. 
I believe that this was $25 before the discount. So it was definitely not a cheap uh, fabric. So I'm really glad that it ended up being exactly how I wanted it to be. I also picked up some deep charcoal china silk. Ugh. Not sure how you say the other word. So it's just, we'll call it china silk. Um, so I, this came in a little plastic baggie, um, but I just picked this up to make a pencil skirt slip to go under all of my, uh, slim pencil skirts. Uh, the black slip that I have currently is a little bit fuller, so it works really well under my half circle skirts, but I need something a little bit narrower, and since I only really needed a yard, um, I decided to splurge and go for the silk to make that slip so that'll be super simple um let me know in the comments if you would be interested in uh if i made a video about how i'm gonna make that slip i can definitely do that if that's something that you're interested in it's gonna be super simple um but yeah i can do that so let me know if you would like to see that and then this is kind of an unassuming piece of fabric but it it represents something very exciting um, for me and for my channel. So, as most of you know, I, well, okay, first let's talk about this. So, this is a four-leaf clover um, wool suiting. And it's got almost a, um, like a twill diagonal uh, kind of weaved to it. Um, and it's really, really pretty, kind of a sagey green. Um, this is like the back of the fabric, I believe, and then the front. I might end up using the back, because I really like the color of the back, but the front's really pretty too. So, I don't know, decisions, decisions, I'll have to make it a later time. But this represents something really exciting, because as most of you know, most of my sewing consists of pretty much through the 30s through the 50s. Um, I tend to stay more in that kind of World War II to the 1950s, kind of mid-century, um, and sometimes, you know, dip, dipping my toe into 30s fashion. Um, but I really, really have been wanting to make an Edwardian project. And I bought this fabric. It was a more affordable uh, piece of fabric, and then, you know, with the discount, it made it even better. Um, and I bought this to make an Edwardian walking skirt. So I have picked out my pattern. I'm still finalizing the details for what I want to do um, for the blouse to go with it. And I've never made any of this. I, I've never dipped my toe into historical things. Um, so it will definitely be quite an adventure and a learning curve. I still need to figure out what I'm going to be doing for um, undergarments, a petticoat, corset, uh, and all of that. But this was kind of my committing to the idea. Not that I couldn't use it for something else, but I was actually diving in and buying something to make, like to use for the Edwardian project. So this hopefully someday in 2021 will be an Edwardian walking skirt. And of course I will be taking all of you along on that adventure as well. Um, but yeah, so this, this really, this piece of fabric really represents something really exciting for me. So, really exciting and something to look forward to. So, that sums up my order from Mood Fabrics. Now, let's move on to oh, Hearts Fabrics. Um, so, first, from Hearts. I got this, um, oh, I should have brought the packing slip up with me. I didn't think to do that. Um, let's see, this was just a, like, a rayon, like, a broadcloth or shirting. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Um, it's really, really lightweight. Let's see if I can find, like, a cut edge. Um, I don't think I would want to use this for a blouse. Like, you can see how sheer and thin it is. It's almost water-like. It's so thin. Um, 
but I really want to make a 1940s slip and I think that this will be perfect for it. It's really lightweight and it's definitely kind of got a little bit of a slippy quality to it so I think this will be perfect for making a slip for under some of my 1940s style dresses so I'm really excited um, to make that and some of the lace that I bought from Sew Vintage Lee will be for this project as well and then I also got and this one this piece was a little bit disappointing to me um you're always gambling when you buy fabric online since you can't feel it and really kind of know what oh the camera does not like this fabric it goes really dark um I don't know we'll just have to work with it but um I was expecting this fabric to be a little bit heavier than it is um, you can kind of see here, like, it's really, really sheer, um, and I was expecting it from the way it was described to be a little bit thicker and have a little bit more weight to it. So I had originally purchased this to make a blouse, but now I'm really not so sure. Um, Hearts does take returns, but it was not a very expensive fabric, and by the time I spent the money to pay the return shipping, I don't think it was going to be worth shipping it back. Um, so I'm, I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. It's a nice quality fabric. It's just not what I was expecting it to be. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. But again, when you're buying online, um, you know, you, you can't know exactly what you're going to end up with. So it's just not what I was expecting. It's not a bad fabric. It's just not what I was expecting it to be. And then I also got from Hearts this lovely uh, viscose linen noil. I have worked with this fabric before in a burgundy colorway and I really, really liked it. So when the spring or summer, when I saw that they came out with this color, which they call lupine, I decided that I had to have it. And I knew that they would probably be doing a sale for Black Friday and I wasn't in a hurry to get it. So I decided to wait for the sale um, but this really is just a lovely lovely fabric it has a nice texture to it it's got that like noil texture um, and I absolutely love the muted lavender color and so as a little preview um, this will be for my Easter project for 2021 so I'm really excited to have this I wanted to get my hands on it so they didn't sell out of it um, I think this will be perfect for the dress that I have in mind, and I really, really love it. I don't know that the camera's doing it justice. Hopefully, when I make up the dress and you see it on me, you'll be able to tell. I feel like the camera's washing it out a little bit. Um, but it really is a lovely, lovely muted lavender color. And then lastly, from Hearts, is something that I can't show you because I put it in the washing machine so it would be ready for me to use. And I didn't think ahead to think that I would want to show it on this video. So, that will be coming up. It's a, like, pine green cotton that I will be using to make a blouse. And that will be coming up on my channel very soon, um, after Christmas, but, um, within probably the next month or so so <laughs> i'm afraid i can't show you that that was me being absent-minded and not thinking ahead so i apologize for that but i did also get enough of a pine green cotton to make a blouse out of and now on to my very very sizable fabric haul from fabric marts fabrics but like guys i keep in mind this is two orders um i ordered the first order like i said i think it was like the week before thanksgiving and then the second order i placed uh during their black friday sale so the first order that i placed was for this lovely green wool suiting um it's i feel like it's picking up pretty well on camera it's this lovely like green but a little bit of brown it's actually a tweed flannel suiting 100 percent wool and i actually got this to make a winter coat out of um i have a 1940s pattern that i would really like to follow 
and hopefully after I gain a little bit of confidence making the fleece version of the coat I'll have a little bit more confidence to jump into some nicer materials and use the wool. I decided to go with this suiting for a couple of reasons. Um, it's a little bit heavier of a suiting than say the burgundy suiting that I showed you for Mood Fabrics. Um, so I thought it would blend itself a little bit better than something like that to make a winter coat out of. It's got a little more texture. Also being the tweed and the flannel. Um, but also with my scoliosis um, and back problems and stuff um, and just my disabilities in general, um, a completely wool coat could get rather heavy um, to kind of carry around on my shoulders. And so I was afraid, especially without being able to feel and kind of hold the wool fabric, I was really worried about the weight of the final garment, especially considering that you need like two and a half or three yards to make a coat. That's a lot of fabric to carry around. That's a lot of heavy wool to carry around. Um, so I decided for me personally, it was going to be better to go with something a little bit lighter weight, like this kind of medium weight suiting. Um, and I'll bulk it up a little bit with like a flannel or something like that. Um, for an interlining to give it a little bit more warmth and structure, but I can also use um, Some kind of partially stiffened uh, like coarse hair or whatever for interlinings as well um, It just I wanted to go with something a little bit lighter weight so that I didn't have to worry about it You know giving me back pain from it being so heavy um, So I think that this will be really pretty. I really like the color and I don't know if this project will actually happen this year, but um, definitely be something that I will be making in the future. And then the next thing that I got from Fabric Mart is this lovely blue cotton polyester blend twill. Again, I usually try to stay away from synthetic fabrics, but at least it was... Um, part cotton and I really really loved the color of it and sometimes I have trouble finding uh, twill in weights and colors that I like and oh it's actually like the exact same color as the shirt I have on um, but it's a really really pretty kind of medium like cornflower blue color and I'm really happy that I ended up getting this it's a really nice texture for something that's a pot that has polyester in it um, I really like it it's nice and soft it's not too thick um, I think it will make really nice either trousers or a uh, skirt. I have been able to get my hands on uh, several 1940s pants patterns. And so in the coming year, I am hoping to do kind of a roundup of some different uh, 1940s pants and kind of compare the different patterns that I have and everything. So I think that that will be a fun little series. Um, and yeah, and this will be perfect either for that or like I said, I think it'd be nice for like a pleated skirt or something as well. Um, but it was only four fifty-five dollars yard, so I'm glad I picked it up. It ended up being a really nice quality. Which Fabric Mart usually does have really nice quality things. So, I shouldn't be too surprised, but. And then the next one is actually something quite different for what I usually buy. It is Muted Cobalt Blue 100% Nylon Waterproof for water repellent um, taffeta jacketing. So this is actually to make a uh, raincoat for my dog. Um, he hates getting wet. He hates it when he has to go out to go to the bathroom in the rain. And he has a really long fluffy coat. He's a Sheltie. Um, you can find his a picture of him on my Instagram. Um, but so he hates getting wet because he takes forever to dry. And yeah, he doesn't like being wet. So, I bought this to make a raincoat for him. I was placing the order and they happened to have it and I was in the market for some. So, picked that up and I think this will be perfect. I'll back it with something a little more substantial because um, it's pretty thin. But, he'll be happy if he doesn't have to get so wet when he goes out when it's raining. So, that is for Ernest. And then, I just picked up, they had some 100% cotton um, eggshell, I believe is the color, um, cotton shirting. So, it's pretty thin. Um, it's just kind of your basic cotton shirting. It's 
little bit see-through, but not quite as bad as some of those crepes that I showed. Um, it's just always nice to have a simple cotton shirting and stash. So I picked that up. Don't have anything specific um, to make out of that, but I do have several blouse patterns. So that would probably end up being a blouse at couple blouses at some point. Um, and then I also picked up this lovely cotton sateen, um, rust cotton sateen shirting. Um, I wish I could have this fabric in like every single color. I, it is beautiful. Um, I love the weight of it. I love the texture, the hand of it. Um, I'm really, really excited to sew this up. I actually got the inspiration for this from the mini series Home Fires on Amazon Prime. Um, one of the ladies was wearing an ensemble with like a rust colored blouse, bottle green cardigan, and I believe she had brown trousers on. I can't remember, but I loved the combination of the bottle green and the rust. And so I, ever since I saw that over the late summer, I've been on the market for a shirting to be able to use for it. And I think that this will work perfectly for that. And like I said, the fabric is absolutely lovely. I wish... I could get it in more colors, but it was from Fabric Mart, and this was the only color that they had. Oops. Oh, there goes my phone. Silly phone. Okay. Um, so I, I wish I could get more colors. It is beautiful. Next, we have this lovely, lovely um, wool polyester nylon blend tweed flannel suiting. This is gorgeous. Again, with I usually stay away from synthetic materials, and this is part wool, so it makes it a little bit better to work with. Um, but this was just way too pretty to pass up. It is the most beautiful, rich teal color, and it ended up being even prettier in person than it was on the computer screen. So I just got one yard of this to make probably one of my... Um, one yard pencil skirts out of but the, it was just so pretty I couldn't pass it up and I'm really glad I got it all right and then last or no one more thing after this um so next from my fabric mart fabric sorter is this really pretty um like olivey green cotton twill so this is actually for my mom she wanted me to get it and make her some trousers or a skirt or something um so I got a few yards of this and it's really really pretty so yeah it's a nice quality too. This one's a little bit heavier than the blue that I showed you. Um, it's got a little bit, a little bit more structure to it and everything, but it's still nice and soft. And I think it'll be really nice for trousers or a skirt or whatever I end up making her. So this was a good find. I'm glad I picked that up. I think she will like whatever I end up making, whatever she ends up choosing. So this piece kind of. Um, goes for both uh, orders from Fabric Mart. So I picked up a piece of this in my first order, and then I got it, and I quickly ordered more of it in my next Black Friday order because it was so pretty. Um, I am a sucker for tartans, as I believe I've mentioned on my channel before, and I also love like the festive green and burgundy combination, um, like green and red. I especially love this like dark piney green with like a kind of darker red, a burgundy red. This really just has my name written like all over it. It's tartan, it's burgundy, it's green. It is absolutely lovely. This is a wool nylon blend and I love it. Absolutely love it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that this was going to be the inspiration for this year's Christmas project. Um, I knew I had to make my project revolving around this. So, like I said, stay tuned for next week to see the details of my Christmas project, my Christmas outfit. Um, but this is the foundation for it. So, I ordered a yard and a quarter the first time and I ended up ordering another yard and a quarter because it was so pretty and I knew I wanted to have more of it. So, 
absolutely love this. I've already started working on that project. So this is the second piece that I got. The first piece has already been washed and it washed up beautifully even though it's wool. Um, it washed up absolutely beautifully. So um, the first piece is already washed and I've already gotten started. Um, if you follow my Instagram stories you will have seen little tiny sneak peeks of it. Um, but yeah, so this is the second piece. So I had, it, I had a piece of this in each order. So this is kind of the bridge between the orders. And then I had also gotten this. Um, I believe this was a stretch wool suiting. Um, so I think it was like wool and elastane, I believe. Um, and I had gotten this hoping that it would match that tartan. Um, but it's it's not quite right. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. I'll try to show you. Um, but this, yeah, you can kind of see. Um, this is just like a shade more yellow and a shade darker. So it doesn't quite work. Um, it's a lovely fabric. So I will definitely use it for something else. I'm hoping there might be enough to make trousers. But if there's not, maybe like a skirt or something. Because it's really lovely fabric. Um, it just doesn't quite match the project that I wanted it for. So, not, not its fault. It's still lovely. And I'll definitely still be using it for something. Just doesn't match the way I had hoped it would. But it's okay because the, the burgundy suiting from Mood ended up matching absolutely perfectly so it all worked out in the end and then i got this beautiful where's your sticker oh, i think the sticker might have come off this beautiful silk crepe i have not really worked with silk um before so that will definitely be um a bit of a have a bit of a learning experience um for me but I, this, the silk was on a pretty good price when I made my Black Friday order. Um, so I decided to pick this up. I believe it was a silk crepe. Um, and so I'll probably just be using this to make a blouse. It's pretty thin, so I'm definitely going to have to wear a slip for it, under it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty sheer. Um, this actually would have also made a lovely slip now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so I could use this instead of the rayon, but I did buy the rayon specifically for the slip. Um, but, so this is a lovely fabric and I'll probably end up making some sort of kind of a flowy blouse out of it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I really just picked this up because it was really pretty and it was a good price. And, you know, when you, when you have a cream kind of shirting fabric like that, you can always end up making your decisions later, so... I got that and that will, like I said, probably end up as a blouse at some point. And then this is also a um, project that I'm really excited about. So this is a plum polyester rayon lycra heather stretch suiting. Again, with it being a bit of a synthetic uh, fabric, it does have the rayon. Um, it's not really picking up on camera. It's a bit more of a rich, deep, plummy color in person. It's coming off a little bit brighter purple um, on camera. But this is really lovely. And I got this because I want to make a 1930s outfit in the spring. Spring slash early summer. Um, and so I knew I wanted to make um, kind of a classic 1930s skirt. And this was absolutely perfect. For the other fabric that I picked up, which is this uh, Pale Misty Lilac Silk Drapey Crepe Woven. So this is just a crepe fabric and it's this really lovely, um, like it said, it's kind of misty lilac. Again, the camera's kind of graying it out. I mean, making it look more muted, um, but it's a really lovely kind of muted lavender color. And these went together really beautifully with the oh there it's picking up a little bit more true to color now um with the white or with the lavender next to it um the the suiting is picking up more true to color um but so i thought that these would be really lovely together so this will be a 1930s blouse and this will be a skirt to go with it so i'm really excited to make this ensemble something a little bit different than what i usually make but still kind of in my 
time period that I usually stick to. So it'll be really fun. I'm really excited about that. I'm feeling very inspired with all of this new fabric. Um, I probably don't need to buy fabric for a while, but, you know, isn't that what you always say? And then there's a new sale or something new comes out, but I should be set for my sewing for a while, and I'm really, really excited for all the projects that I plan to be making out of these things. So, I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up. Uh, let me know in the comments if you picked up anything over the Black Friday sales and kind of Black Friday weekend and week and weekend um, and what you're most excited about. I'd love to know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell button so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. I have some really exciting... Um, you know, kind of festive, Christmassy content coming up with my Christmas projects and that 1940s style coat. Um, so lots of exciting things coming up. Like I said, my, I will be doing my Christmas outfit reveal next week, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you have your bell turned on to all so that you see um, when that video comes out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next week. Bye!